Hello, it is me, Lucretia, and welcome, welcome, welcome to Candid Conversations. This one is a little bit un more unscripted and you know, because I'm out in nature. So you may hear the sounds of the birds, the bees, the flowers, the trees, the cars. I don't know, but I just thought that I would come and offer some encouragement today while I'm out taking my morning stroll. And you know, because I believe that it's still important to stay active, you know, in whatever way possible, however we do that, it's definitely important to stay active. Um, because if our, if our bodies are not active, then sometimes our minds, they are just overactive and they can cause us some problems. So I just want to talk about my morning journey as I was walking this morning. I went to the store, of course, to get some coffee, you know, which I do maybe once a week. And everything was fine while I was getting the coffee until I got to the counter and a young man whom I, I see him all the time because I get coffee at the same place all the time. But once I got there, he was wearing his gloves and everything. And he said, drop everything on the counter. And I just looked at him. I was thinking, am I under arrest or am I buying coffee here? But nonetheless, I understood the fear that, you know, that he was uh, maybe battling at that moment. Not only did he ask me to drop everything on the counter, but then he took a step back as if I was going to contaminate him. But I said, okay, God, because I understand what people are going through. So if you are facing fear of some sort, that that is quite understandable. But just know that God has not given us a spirit of fear, but a spirit of love, power, and a sound mind, because that's what his word says in 2 Timothy 1 and 7. And also another highlight of my morning is I was continuing my walk. And in fact, it had I had completed my walk. And uh, so... Then I was taking a moment to stop and I was just in the atmosphere and I was praying and I was, I was praying and I was praying uh, on, on a video and making a video for someone else. And uh, I noticed that there was a lady and she was riding a bike and the prayer, she was drawn because of the prayer. And so finally she pulled up and she kind of stopped on her bike and she just stopped and she listened to me as I was praying and she just waited until I was done. So finally I could see that she wanted my attention and she came up to me. Actually, I went up to her and she said, thank you. I heard your prayers in the atmosphere and, 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 and they just made me come over here. And I said, okay, God, this is a divine appointment. This is an opportunity. So I asked her her name, of course, and I asked her, what is your name? And she told me, and I spoke with her for a moment. Her name was Jewel. And I could see that she needed some encouragement. So I offered her some encouragement and I told her, Jewel, you are a Jewel. And I just want you to know that God has not forgotten about you and that yes, sometimes we find ourselves in, in circumstances that we had never imagined, but God has not forgotten about us. And so with that, she, and then I prayed for her. I took a moment to pray for her, but had I been locked in my house and just stayed there for fear, use wisdom, do use wisdom because I did use wisdom. I have my hand sanitizer and I understand the need to maintain our distance, but I took a moment and I prayed for Jewel and her heart was so encouraged once we walk away, walked away and she was just like, thank you so much. And I say to that, to God be the glory because whatever I do and whatever I say, it's never to bring the glory to me because I'm not savior, I'm not healer, I'm not deliverer, but I am the hands and the feet that he chooses to use in a moment that I'll say, yes, God, I will surrender to you. Yes, God, I'll do what you're asking me to do even if it causes me to be uncomfortable at some point so bye for now thank you for tuning in thank you for joining me and remember to love and encourage and strengthen and edify someone today bye bye thank you for liking thank you for tuning in thank you for subscribing whatever you're supposed to do with these videos all right talk to you later bye candid conversations with lucretia